Minecraft, one of the biggest games of the decade. But when did it all start? Back in 2009, a man called Marcus Pearson, also known to myself and fellow fans as Notch, released a game simply called Cave Game. What was London like during the time of the dinosaurs? Well, 65 million years ago, during the Cretaceous period, London and most of some Britain was underwater. Well, how do you do, young Willie McBride? Do you mind if I sit here down by your graveside? We here in Britain, ever since it first came out, have been buying it in the truckloads. But why are these little pieces of bricks so successful? Well, I'm here at the Lego store in Leicester Square to find out. Come with me. If you're anything like me, you've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! for a few years now. And again, like me, you'll have a deck upon your mind that spirals your very being into uncontrollable rage. There are some decks that should never come off the ban list, and this one doubly so. I'm standing here in front of the National Portrait Gallery, where over 20 Pokemon Go players are gathered to take down one Tier 5 Pokemon raid. If we're lucky, we might be able to interview some of them for the show, so let's, let's go and see. Excuse me, are you playing Pokemon Go? Yeah, I am. Well, what is it you're actually doing here? Uh, I'm just catching a legend. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so is there anything particularly you have to do to catch it or just throw the ball at it? So as you can see, I'm just cutting it. It's going to be equal to the same size because I've already cut the first one, so it's a lot easier now. You could easily finish this off with some colours. You could add some, obviously, the black. The Stickers. St a sticker. Oh, that would be amazing. It would look amazing. But as you can see, we have the Titanic. This game was only available on PC and wasn't anything like the game we know today, as all you could really do was mess around with some simple blocks. But how did such a simple game turn into a number one bestseller? 